in Wayne County is killed while on duty. What the feds are and are not saying about what happened to the corrections officer, the inmate responsible, and what went wrong. Live team coverage of the prison guard killing our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marisa Burke. And I'm Scott Schaefer. According to a news release issued today, an inmate at the federal prison in Wayne County near Waymart used a homemade type weapon to kill a prison guard last night. But that, along with the guard's name, is about all the information the feds released. How it happened, where it happened, why it happened, all questions still not answered. Newswatch 16's Amanda Kelly begins our coverage tonight with some new information, though, just in in Wayne County. Amanda. Good evening, Scott and Marisa. I'm right outside the federal prison here in Canaan Township, where we're learning new information in regards to the homicide of corrections officer Eric Williams. The Lackawanna County coroner released autopsy results that say Williams died of a blunt head and neck trauma and multiple stab wounds. But otherwise, information today has been quite hard to come by. All we do know is that an inmate is accused of allegedly killing corrections officer Eric Williams of Nanticoke. Officers blocked the entrance to the United States Penitentiary Canaan just outside Waymart, where federal officials say an inmate took the life of a corrections officer. 34-year-old Eric Williams of Nanticoke was attacked with a homemade weapon inside the prison and was pronounced dead about one hour later, an event many who work and live nearby find unfathomable at a high-level security prison. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Um, you think of a federal maximum security federal prison that it would be really um, strict and how can something like this happen? I'm concerned, but um, it's their job that they had taken and unfortunately this goes with it. Exactly how the former Jefferson Township police officer was attacked is still unknown. The prison says the facility was fully staffed when the homicide occurred. The warden gave this statement to Newswatch 16 saying this is clearly the darkest day in our institution's short history and we are in shock over this senseless loss of a colleague and friend. Corrections officers do have a contact at all times with other officers via phone or radio, but officials can't say whether Williams had access to either or if another guard was with him when the attack happened. Many neighbors say despite this terrible tragedy, they still feel this prison is safe. We don't see any problems at all. Not, not really. None at all. While others say it's a rude awakening to those working with inmates convicted of serious crimes like homicide or who have a long criminal record. It's definitely a, a wake up call. I think probably mostly for the guards, of course, that work there. Now, this is the second time in a, just about two months that an employee was assaulted inside the prison here in Canaan Township. In late December, a cook supervisor was assaulted by an inmate with a homemade style knife. Of course, we've been trying to contact several federal offices throughout the day looking for answers, and they say part of the reason why information is so hard to come by is because of the current lockdown situation. Amanda Kelly, Newswatch 16, reporting live tonight in Wayne County. All right, Amanda, thank you. The correction.